Hey guys, welcome to Red Eye Survival. I know some of you who have watched uh, some of my squirrel hunts have asked me how I tan my hides, and I always mention that I use Dixie Tan. Uh, you know, some of you guys have become curious and asked if I can make a video showing how the process is done, so I thought I'd come out here today and do just that. All right, well, here's the actual product. I've been using this stuff for a few years now, and I absolutely love it. It's just a dried powder that you add water to for do-it-yourself type tanning kits. I mean, it doesn't get any easier than this. Uh, nowhere on the box or on the container does it actually say what's in here. You know, I have no idea what this consists of, uh, but it, does, it has a, a pleasant smell of sassafras. Um, you know, it doesn't have an overbearing chemical smell at all. Um, the hides I've used this on in the past, I mean, this just works great. You know, it's zero labor involved. You know, you mix it up and put it on your hide and just let it sit. And this, you know, this stuff does all the work. Uh, you can find this stuff on the internet, you know, eight or nine bucks for a container, which I think is really reasonable. Uh, I can probably get about seven or eight squirrel hides tanned out of one container. I don't re recommend using this on anything bigger than a squirrel or a rabbit. Uh, this works great on your small thin hides. There's no way I would use this like on a deer or, or, or you know even something big like a coyote. Uh, I just don't think it has the penetrating power that you need to actually tan those hides. Not for a small container anyway. I mean if you had a ton of this stuff maybe you can do several applications and it might work but for small hides I recommend this stuff and I guess I'll show you how it works next all right this Dixie tan is super easy to use I'm just gonna pour a little bit in here and add some water and then just mix it up to a mud-like consistency like I mentioned earlier it has a sweet sassafras smell to it so it's not unpleasant at all getting good and muddy now. Once you find the consistency that you're looking for, and you just start applying it on your hide. A little bit gets into the fur, that's fine. It'll wash out later. It's not gonna hurt anything. I try to put it on pretty liberally. Keep it pretty thick. Again, my hide is air dried and it's it's hard, it's stiff, so it's ready to absorb any moisture that's in this paste. I've had a lot of success with this Dixie tan well worth the eight or nine bucks. Oh man, don't do that. 
the hazards of doing this outdoors. Not to mention it's probably about 34 degrees out here and I'm losing feeling in my fingers. Small price to pay to help out my viewers. <laughs> All right, I've coated everything. Once I do that, I usually like to fold it in half. That way it will try to stay moist as long as possible. Let whatever's in this paste really soak into the hide. Like I said, I'm not really sure what's in here. I don't know if it's just dried up eggs or what, but it works. That's all that matters to me. Alright, from here, I'll just let this sit for a good 24 to 48 hours. Alright guys, well it's been 48 hours and it's dried pretty good. As you can see it just kind of flakes off like dried mud wood off the bottom of your boot. All I do is just work that dry paste off my hide. Alright guys, well the next step here is to wash this in, a, in warm water with a mild detergent or mild soap and what that does uh, it not only you know rinses off any uh, residual Dixie tan that might be on here but it also removes any grease or blood that might happen to be you know in the fur and uh, from there I basically let it sit for a couple hours until I find that uh, perfect moisture content uh, what that is is when the hide is almost dry but still pliable uh, and from there I, I just work it I just work the hide you know trying to keep those fibers from drying stiff you know just doing this you know pulling it back and forth you know just kind of working those fibers and that's when you see it turn into that white uh, creamy tan color and I just keep doing that until the hide is uh, all the way dry and from there uh, you have you know a, a tan hide that you can work with All right guys, I thought I'd show y'all a couple examples of some hides I've done in the past using Dixie Tan. Got a couple squirrels here that turned out pretty good. And this one here is a squirrel that I case skinned. This one turned out really good too, in my opinion. I don't know if you can see that. Nice and soft. It's a nice winter coat on this one. Dixie Tan is not too shabby for a little home kit, a little home tanning. definitely gives you some decent leather to work with all right guys well I hope this video helps uh, if you guys have any other questions about Dixie tan you know definitely feel free to ask all right guys it's gonna wrap up this video hope you catch me again next time <laughs>